right, some breaking news coming in. The NIA has ruled out a firecracker was used in Kolkata outside the NIA campus. Uh, splinters were not used, but explosion was very powerful. That's what the sources uh, are uh, telling us. Explosive material has now been sent to forensic tests. CRPF had yesterday said, remember, that it was not a bomb, only firecrackers were used. That's the latest coming in. The NIA saying that firecrackers were not used in the explosion outside NIA camps. All right, Kamal Jeet Sandhu joining me with the latest. Kamal, uh, NIA completely, uh, you know, going ahead and saying firecrackers were not used. Something that the CRP F was saying till yesterday. Well, definitely so. It does seem that the CRP F D G jumped the gun and remember. Even the visuals were very clear uh, that there was some certain damage to the outer structure where uh, there was uh, this, this particular uh, explosive which was thrown from a moving vehicle. And obviously at that point of time, NIA was very tight-lipped even though initially they did actually say uh, that this was an explosive and this was an attempt by jihadi groups uh, to intimidate uh, the officers who were camped inside the CRPF campus in Kolkata. So this is something which is going to be putting uh, uh, the MHA in the embarrassing place because one agency against the other. But at this point of time, definitely uh, they, they are saying that there could be something more. Uh, they're saying even though there was no, uh, no splinters, uh, there was definitely gunpowder within the right. explosive. And that is why there was a larger damage. Okay, Kamaljeet Sandhu, thanks so much for joining us. Of course, we'll be tracking this development as well uh, very closely on this blast uh, that had taken place. Investigations now on NIA saying that it was uh, indeed wasn't the firecrackers that were used. Of course, we'll be waiting for more inputs over there. Well, tracking this very development now, the blast damaged a bus shelter in Kolkata's Salt Lake area. And thankfully, no one was injured in that explosion. The NIA uh, had initially suspected that the blast was carried out in retaliation to the recent arrest of Jamaat al-Mujahideen Bangladesh suspects in connection with the blast that took place in Bardhaman on the 2nd of October. This uh, incident that we are talking about took place uh, at 7.30 p.m. and entry posted at the CRPF campus gate saw a man hurling an object from a moving vehicle. Preliminary investigations suggested it was a crude bomb. Uh, the local police, in fact, has already launched a hunt for the suspect.